Stay in the closet. Shoo! Hide and shut the door tight. Hello, my Choo Choo family. I'm your fun-loving epic vlogger, Tom Choo Choo. It's the Pride Month, and during this time, it's wonderful we celebrate our self-affirmation, dignity, equality, and increased visibility of LGBT. But it's also the month to remember our members who have been lost to hate crimes or HIV and AIDS, which this brings to me today's number one reason why you should not come out from the closet. Well, before I share my story, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And now, on with the story. Choo choo! What do you think it would be the number one reason why someone should not come out from the closet? Is it the family? Is it the money? Religion? Or is it the fear itself? Now, this is just my opinion since I did not come out to my parents until I was in my 30s. I was afraid my parents were going to disown me, so I made sure I was financially stable before I pushed myself completely out of the closet. I thought the number one reason was financial situations, but I was wrong. Uh, I came out almost to everyone at age of 23. And I waited almost 10 years later to come out to my parents. <laughs> Many would look at the bravery of coming out to the parents. But we overlooked the fact that I came out to my friends and how accepting my friends were during my younger years. Which means I had a very supportive group that made me comfortable to come out from my dusty closet. <laughs> so I think the number one reason why someone should not come out from the closet just yet is their safety. Recently, there was a kid, 13 years old, went onto this live stream of someone else's channel and he asked this question to the speaker. His family has a strong religious background where they uh, would not accept be people being gay and he asked if he should come out. Well, I look at this question and I would probably ask this person, is this what you want? To be honest, Coming out and be proud, it's one thing. But living in a risky environment to make that decision, it's um, something we have to think about. You see, a lot of time we get caught up by the moment and we make decisions based on emotions and not logics. And with the situation like this 13 year old was in, imagine the hardship that he had to deal with at school. If there weren't any support system, I mean, look at me. I was being bullied at school by teachers be because of my accent. Being something different is not so hot education in education environments. Bullying would also be an issue, right? And if the family isn't supportive, I personally think for the safety of the child, he should stay in the closet until he gets out of where he is and find a support group that will embrace his true identity. I know, many would disagree, but at the end of the day, we're out already. So we might not understand the real struggle of the one that's still inside of the closet. Uh, it's not something that can just happen one night, right? And not everyone was built strong enough to come back with a hate crime. So if you think you're not ready, please don't come out because your safety is important. We can always celebrate together when you're out or even better, we can always bring our joy into your closet with you. I mean, if it's clean and that's it. Happy Pride! Leave in the comments and let me know what you think if a kid asks you the same question, what would you say to him? I'll see you next time. Please be safe out there.